Hey buddy, this is Angga Rizky from Indonesia and welcome back to my video. In this video, I'm gonna to share to you about the AdMob. So basically, AdMob is provide for the monetize our application that we can earn money from our application. So basically, if you have application and then you want to get money from your application, you just need to register your account or your application to the uh, AdMob from the Google. Okay, it's pretty simple and I'm gonna to show you how it works so we go to Android and create new project and here you can create new project which is at mob anger cool we're going to use API 16 next and um, empty activity but here you can see we have the Google at mob at activity but why I select this empty activity because we want to make another screen okay we we are not only focus this at mob so we want to create from the scratch by using the empty activity so waiting for the gradle build alright as you can see I'm going to create uh, the prototype so we need to create the another activity which is the Google Ad Mob. So we're going to Java and click right Java class and here you can get the name maybe uh sorry sorry I missed something we're going to cancel and go to Java click right and new and Google and Google Ad Mods activity and here you can give the name maybe just brick game. You can maybe you are playing game and suddenly your game is over and then the advertisement will show to your pawn so it's called brick game so in this case we have two option which is intercital and banner but most of them use the intercital because the banner it's not good for the user interface design and that's why I prefer like the intercital so finish and waiting for the gradle just gradle all right as uh, so you can see here we already have activity underscore brick underscore game which is the intercital this is only title and when the user click this button that should be going the another screen which is for the ad uh, advertisement so maybe example it's not next level we're going to the string value and string and next level you can change it maybe uh, play again okay so you're playing a game and game is over and you want to play again and whenever you click this play again you will get the advertisement from the Google okay let's try to the emulator but oops sorry we we'll need to go in manifest to change this storyboard so here the default of the application start from main activity but we want to start it from the brick game activity so that's why we need to change it to here and here we need to change main activity and then we need to close this okay we need to stop we need to start from the scar all right we we'll start again and I hope it's working properly let's try okay so you will get the toss which is the test art so the game is over and I want to play again and when I click play again oh my god I get the advertisement and then when you click this banner that should be going to the browser or to the uh, official set from the advertisement you can see it's working properly so the question is can I change the uh, the banner yes you can you can go to the string and here this is for the advertisement you just need to copy your banner from here you need to send up your account and then you will get the unique code for this banner so whenever the user click this banner and you will earn money from this advertisement and this is pretty cool
okay let's try again i close it and the game is over and i want to play again and suddenly the the advertisement is so like this and you just need to close again okay so this is how the advertisement working in the android studio and it's pretty easy you just need to follow these steps and copy your unicode from the atmob by google well done you will get money <laughs> and i think it's enough well thank you very much for watching this video so let me know if you have get something wrong because i want to help you well don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and uh, engariski in youtube so bye bye